deserve a peaceful death. I want you to all think about that just for a moment and take it in. It's something I've come to realize through over my 20 years of working with people and helping them die and pass over and help their families come to terms with end of life. We all deserve a peaceful death. And I've been so blessed to help so many hundreds of people achieve a peaceful death. Um, I went to a great event yesterday where Marianne Williamson and Louise Hay and David Kessler were talking about um, in the 80s and 90s when everyone was dying of AIDS and the community that was built in this lovely city of LA. And I was honored to be part of that. I'm going to tell you about my friend Rob, who I helped. have a peaceful death. And I loved him so much because he was so funny and joyful and witty and taught me so much because I didn't know how to help anybody die. Um, and what I learned when what he taught me was, oh honey, I want a Hollywood ending. And I was like, a Hollywood ending, what's that? He's like, well, you know, in the movies where everyone forgives everybody, you're in your deathbed and everyone's there and they love each other and they forgive each other. And, even the person who was mean and awful, they apologize. It's just lovely, lovely, lovely. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Hollywood ending. We've got to get that for everybody. And so, um, but what I learned with Rob was we were able to get him a Hollywood ending of what he loved. I was able to work with him for over a year. He was in his 40s. He was an artist. We kept him um, working through all the relationships. He needed to say goodbye to everyone. His family flew in, and they came to terms that he was gay, which um, was very hard for them, but they did. And um, we got him the love of the community. Um, the only regret I have about Rob was that we could not keep him in his home, and he had to go to an AIDS hospice in Los Angeles. And it was in that place where he said, you gave me my Hollywood ending. This is best that we could do with what we had. And that's what I learned was that it's not always a Hollywood ending, but it's what it looks like for you and the best that we can do. And I'll never forget, his sister would not let him go. And I remember we had to call her on the phone and say, you have to call him and you have to speak with him right now and you have to say it's okay to go. And so... I was really threatening her, and I took the phone, and I held it to his ear, and, because Rob was saying, she's the only one who won't let me go. And she said, okay, you can go, Rob, it's time. And I'll never forget the look in his eyes when he looked at me, so grateful, and so full of joy, and he's like, I can go. It's time for my Hollywood ending. And that night he died. So I had a whole year to work with Rob and um, other hospice patients when I was working as a hospice social worker, I wasn't so lucky. People were getting referred later and later to hospices, so I would have a day, two days, a week to try and give people their Hollywood endings and what it looked like for them. And some we could and some we couldn't. And it gave me an idea of since people are being referred later and later to the hospice and end of life, wouldn't it be amazing if we had this whole other kind of profession of guides? Guides who can help you. I think they should come into your life the minute you're first diagnosed with a terminal illness. And they can be there for you. And they can help you have a peaceful death. Because they can help you start looking at the relationships you need to work on the things you need to repair, the sorries that you have to say, the things that hold the dying people back from letting go. 
and then I would used to work with the people to let them go. And if we had that earlier on, then I wouldn't be in the crisis situation that I found myself in for many years of helping these people go. And wouldn't it be an amazing gift if we had this whole new career, whatever we want to call it, of people who are guides, who will take the people through this journey right from the minute they're first diagnosed so that at the end it's not a crisis. So that if you need to work on a relationship with somebody, it will help families. It will help the individual. It will help society. Because I have a desire to change how we view and do death in America. Yes, I work with individuals, but I also want to change how we do it. Because I believe everyone deserves a peaceful death. And if we started talking about death and end of life earlier and got people not to fear it the way we fear it, it would just be such an amazing world to be in. We could have these relationships that we want to have. You know, the people say, oh, live your life every day like it's your last day. That is so hard to do. That puts such pressure on people. If you had a guide, if you had a person to help you, if you get better from your terminal illness, good, that guide goes away. You can always call them back in. They can come and help you. Because the dying person is in charge. It's a guide because they would tell me what they needed. I'm not an expert. They're the ones dying. So I was just their guide. Who do you need to say goodbye to? Who do we need to say I'm sorry? What do we need to clear up? How can we let you go when it's your time to go? How do we get you that Hollywood ending? Whatever it looks like for you. Because it's not always magical. It can be just simple little things. But if we start the process earlier, and I just want to let all of you think about this in your life. Sometime today, sometime this week, something. Just think about what would your Hollywood ending look like? What do you want? Are there people right now that you want to start healing relationships with? Say you're sorry to, work on things with, talk with your families about it. If I can just leave you with that thought, maybe we can really make this change happen in this country because we need to. We need to be able to love one another and take care of each other and heal and be okay when it's our time to go and know that we've done everything that we've done. And that Hollywood ending is so hard like it is in the movie, so whatever it looks like for you, just think about it. And our society would just be such a loving, caring, beautiful place if we could start talking about these kinds of issues right now. I'm doing this because the dying told me this is what they wanted me to do over 20 years ago when I started in this. They said, you've got to go and tell the people what we've taught you. It's why I'm here. I'm telling you the words of the dying because they were the experts. They knew. They were facing it. And I was so honored to be their guide and that they let me in. So... Thank you for all the souls and all the people because they are teaching you a beautiful lesson of what's important. Start the healing now. Let's change society. Let's get people talking about it. And just let's all have a beautiful, peaceful Hollywood ending.